find what you're looking for. Good morning and welcome to Cornerstone Neighborhood Church Online. We are so glad to have you with us this morning. Uh, as we get into things, I just want us to focus on these words from Psalm 63, verse 1. It says, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I hope today you are thirsting after God. Uh, and so let's just take some time and worship him together uh, and, and just thirst after our Heavenly Father.
dreams of abundance flow.
Well, again, welcome to Cornerstone Neighborhood Church. Uh, we are so glad to have you with us, and I hope that this is finding you well today, either as you are, are meeting together with a bunch of other people, uh, your family, or even just watching this on your own. Um, I'm so glad that we are we're still even able to to meet together, to worship together, uh, even if it's you know just over video like this. So. Um, if you are new today, new to watching our videos, uh, being a part of our church, uh, or just visiting, I you know, would encourage you maybe fill out our connection card on our website uh, or follow this link in the corner here to, to our website uh, and it'll take you directly to that form called the connection card. You, know, you can ask us any questions, we'd love to connect with you. Uh, yeah, or even uh, any of you that are, you know, in our church already, if you have any questions, just fill that form out. We would love to answer those for you. Uh, throughout the week, if, if you haven't been already, I encourage you again, you know, our website, our Facebook, our YouTube channel, uh, these things are all keeping us connected. We are updating it regularly to try to keep you guys connected, uh, let you know about events happening, uh, different ways that we can still either meet in person, um, yeah, or just fellowship in different ways. So please continue to be connected with that. Uh, this coming Tuesday, or yes, this Tuesday, June 16th, uh, I'm gonna plan to have a young adults games night again on, uh, on House Party, the House Party app. Uh, so make sure that you are ready for that at 7 o'clock p.m. Tuesday, June 16th uh, for you young adults. Um, also, for everybody, you know, continue to, uh, you know, try to, if you have not already, you know, join us uh, 7 o'clock each Sunday night for Zoom and prayer. Uh, it's, you know, we are not able to necessarily know have church together you know on Sunday mornings just like this uh, but you do have an opportunity each Sunday night to to join together to fellowship with one another and prayer and pray and uh, it is a wonderful time so I encourage you check out zoom and prayer uh, in your cornerstone connectors uh, that will be uh, that information will be in there just want to remind you as well uh, if you desire to give, if you desire to continue giving to our church uh, and tithing, please check out our website and the giving page uh, and follow those links to uh, use Tithely uh, and set up online recurring payments or one-time payments. Uh, if you need a check picked up um, or some way for us to, to help serve you in that, we would love to help you. Uh, so just let Brent uh, know and he will uh, try to sort that out for you. So thank you. As we move to a time of prayer, uh, I just want to read you an encouragement that was sent to us from the Fellowship Pacific. They wrote us a letter uh, from Doug Fordham. says, As we end phase one of COVID-19, the staff and board of Fellowship Pacific simply want to thank you for your partnership in the gospel. We are proud to stand with you, celebrating both your creativity and your commitment to our shared mission. Doug, on behalf of Fellowship Pacific. You now, even I was this, this last week, especially on our day of prayer last Sunday, uh, one encouragement that hit me was just having this idea, you know, even realizing that, you know, as, as a church, we are not, uh, even as Christians, you know, we are, we are not alone, even though we are isolating right now. Um, as a church, we are not alone in, you know, in the struggles and the trials that are going on, you know, for us right now. You know, we're not able to meet uh, physically still, but, you know, and, and we don't even have a building per se yet at this time. Uh, you know, but we're not even just the church. The church isn't a building. The church isn't even just us individually. You know, we we have a, a large body of believers across the entire globe that are are praying with us, that are, uh, you know, trying to help God's kingdom move forward. 
Uh, and so, you know, we get to be a part of Fellowship Pacific, and it's a great, great organization, great denomination uh, to be be a part of, uh, and and we are supported by them, and it brings me pleasure in being being a part of that, and uh, and having their support, and and being a part of their shared mission. So yeah, so be encouraged. Be be encouraged that you know that we there's there's something much bigger than us that you know this this mission that we are on is is being supported by all the churches here in Maple Ridge, all the churches here in BC, uh, in Canada and in and globally. And yeah, there's more than just the the few of us here at Cornerstone. So today I want to lift up uh, the Fellowship Pacific. Uh, as well as I, I think it'd be important to to pray for, you know, the the violence and the unrest and the rioting and and everything that is is happening in the states, uh, yeah, and and continue uh, encouragement for us to persevere. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we we want to lift up to you our our Fellowship Pacific uh, organization. Uh, God, we thank you for. For their support and uh, yeah, the way they they take care of us, they uh, they offer us you know respite for for pastors uh, for whether that's pulpit fill or just offering different courses and classes uh, for our disposal and for our training. And God, they just they they give us the the emotional support to continue. God, they they support us financially and. Uh, we are just so thankful for them, and so we pray that you would just bring blessing to uh, those that are uh, leading Fellowship Pacific, God, the people that are on the board, uh, and each of the staff right now at the, the Ministry Center in Fort Langley. God, just continue to uh, fuel their efforts, fuel uh, their desires, Father, to see uh, your kingdom grow, especially here in, in BC and the Yukon. Uh, yeah, I pray that we would be just continually working and, and making, you know, making progress in uh, building more churches and, and equipping more leaders, Father, uh, especially in this next generation, Father, to, to follow you, to, to lead your church into this next season. God, I uh, also just want to lift up... Uh, just the, the violence, the chaos that is going around the world, especially uh, just south of our border. Uh, and God, just dealing with, with injustice in our world, uh, whether that's racial, whether that's uh, yeah, criminal, in any of these kind of uh, injustices, Father, we, we want to lift, God, these people to you. We pray for your peace. We pray for... God, just you to have a presence, uh, especially in your church, uh, in in those areas, God, that, that your church would be able to help pacify some of uh, what is going on, God, but also just to, to stand up for those people that are, are hurting, that are, uh, yeah, that are, that are struggling right now. So God, I just pray, pray that you would protect those also that uh, that are becoming victims of, of all of this violence, and God, that you would, yeah, just be walking with each of them. Father, we also, yeah, we, we pray for our church. We pray for, for all the individuals in our church and just, uh, and, and the people in Maple Ridge, God, that, uh, that we would have perseverance to, to endure this, God, Yeah, God, that you that you would be making us uh, more mature and complete through this time, uh, Father. That as as a church, that we would be be moving towards uh, a perspective and an attitude, uh, a heart that that sees being the church is more than just attending a service on Sunday, God. That we we would be desiring to uh, to find new ways to connect in our community and to connect with each other and, and to serve the people around us and our neighbors. 
So God, I ask that you, you would help us to keep from discouragement. Uh, God, that we would not become apathetic or lazy in our faith during this time, Father, but that it would be reviving us, that it would be awaking us, God, to, to serving you here in Maple Ridge. We just pray these things in your name. Amen. So as we finish this video part of our service this morning, I want to encourage you to check out uh, Brent's sermon uh, called, called Considering the Cost on uh, our Recalculating series this, this week. And so with that, I want to leave you with these words uh, from Revelation 1, 5, and 6. It says, To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins, by his blood and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day.